Watch it guys. Now being a PC tech, uh, using time management is a real important part of uh, your daily routine and working smart is also another uh, key role for you as a PC tech because if you can work smarter and using your time much better then you're going to be a much better PC tech and you're going to get much more work done. Now we're going to be looking at how to slipstream Service Pack 1 into Microsoft Office 2010 Professional 32-bit and 64-bit versions. So what we're going to need is uh, obviously Microsoft Office 2010. Now you can see I've already got my copies here and all you need to do here is drag all the contents from your CD into a folder onto your desktop. Now I've called mine Microsoft Office 2010 Professional 32-bit and obviously the other one's going to be called 64-bit and you just need to copy all them contents in. Now there is a slight difference in the two, you can see the 32 bit has got 32 there and also on the 64 bit one you see the 64 bit version there. So what we're going to do here is slipstream these service packs. Now the service packs are free to download from Microsoft. You can get them at this website here, we'll put all the links in the description and as you can see 64 bit version and also the 32 bit version. You need to make sure that you slipstream the right version into the right um, folder. Okay, so now we've got those downloaded. They are pretty hefty in size, and once you've got them downloaded onto your desktop, we can't just stick these inside these folders. We need to extract them. So you can see there's a folder in here called Updates, and this is the where we need to put the content. There's a few ways of going about it, and I'll show you two ways. So the first thing we need to do is create a folder inside our C root directory and I'm going to call this SP1 for service pack 1 and there you can see I've got one in there already this is the 32-bit version for the file now that means I need to put this version in there so all you need to do here is copy this in as well into your C root directory and I've already done this and you would just do that like so okay so now we've got those two in there we've got service pack 1 folder in there and we've also got our um, service pack 1 32 bit if it's times 86 that's the 32 bit version okay so what we want to do next is open up the command prompt now you can do it from here as well but we're going to do it from the command prompt I'm going to run this as administrator here okay so now we've got our box open here we need to put in our command okay so the command you can see on the screen now is the command that you're going to need to put into this uh, window here I will put these in the description for you so you can just copy and paste them straight in so what you need to do here is right click and paste if you want to type this out you could do um, but to be honest it's a bit of a lengthy uh, command and all this is going to do is basically uh, talk to this uh, file that we've put in there and extract it to this folder which we've called sp1 pretty straightforward really so we're going to do that here so we're just going to copy that across like so and that's now complete we can now extract uh, extract the other one if we wish the 64-bit version as well but I'm going to show you another way how to do that which I think is easier than this way so let's have a look at the folder itself we go back to service pack one you can now see there's all these files inside here okay we'll come back to that in a second so let's extract uh, the 64-bit version and I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop called SP1 and then all I'm going to do here is right click on this and we're going to be using 7-zip so I'm going to open up the archive and there you can see there's all the files and then I hit extract and I'm, all I need to do is point to that service pack 1 folder on my desktop click OK OK again and away she goes pretty straightforward less hassle and then from there you can see we've got the folder here with all the contents in it and all I need to do here now is highlight all of these and I can cut and paste these straight into 
the 64-bit folder. So I'm looking at the 64-bit version here. Go into the updates folder and then just paste that in like so. And it will be the same for this one as well. Once you get this one, you would just go to the service pack one folder. And this is the 32-bit version, remember. So we just need to highlight these. Hold the shift key down if you wish. You can do it that way as well. Copy or cut and paste these if you wish or copy them. I'm going to cut and paste them. And we're going to put this into the 32-bit folder called uh, updates. You can see it's empty. Gonna paste that in there and that's pretty much that done. So that's two ways of going about doing it, pretty straightforward and there's other ways you can create bat files to do it as well. Now we've got our folders all created and ready to go, all you need to do now is we're going to use a program called ISO Recorder and all that's going to do is create an ISO of all this content here. Is right click on this folder and create an ISO file. It's a free program, but it's a great way of creating an actual ISO file out of this folder. So we need to go next. And just let it do its job. It's just going to create an ISO file for us. And we can even burn it with this program. Okay, that's now done. Click finish, and there we have our image on our desktop. Now, all I need to do now is double click on this, and this will open up the record feature of a ISO recorder. And you leave the image file there, you can see the, the actual source of our file, what we just created. We're going to leave the letter here called F, and that's my drive of my recorder you can see and then you want to burn this at a slower speed if possible now you can probably do it lower than this if you wish I'm going to do mine at 8 click next and let it do its job okay so that's the actual process now finished I need to click finish so that's pretty much how you slipstream Service Pack 1 into Microsoft Office 2010 in a nutshell basically. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now, if you've got any more video requests then let me know. And I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So thanks again and have a nice weekend. Bye for now.